And welcome back in today's community conversation with Lauren Macias Cervantes with TechStat. We're talking about a public meeting that's being held this week for the Border Highway East study. Now, what can you tell us about this study? So, for, very first important thing to mention is that this is a study, not a project. This is very early in the planning phase and we're inviting everyone to come and give us your feedbacks. We're studying 20 miles. This is a 20 mile corridor that extends from Loop 375 Americas in El Paso to FM 3380 or uh, Manny Aguilera Road near Tornillo. Now this study analyzes the benefits and challenges of improving mobility in that study area. Now there are multiple goals. Among them are to alleviate traffic congestion and improve mobility, safety. Again, this study has not identified any projects and no funding for construction has been secured. So Lauren, for those who have never attended a public meeting, how do these work and why is it important for people to attend? Why do you encourage them to? Go? Yes, it's very important because everyone uses the roads differently, right? And public comments are critical before any project is ever identified. So during a public meeting, attendees have the opportunity to stop at different stations with various information like traffic, crash data, future demands. We're taking that file video from uh, one of our uh, public meetings. Uh, we take, you know, they're taking a look at the study area and potential concepts. There is no time frame. Now any potential projects that may emerge from this study will each have to go through their own process with their own set of public meetings. Now public input is critical at this planning stage because it's still early enough that input can guide any future revisions to the highway concepts. This is a long corridor with various uses and along many communities. There are different needs. Some people might drive, use the road to drive. You know, there's mm -hmm. pedestrian use. Um, there's various communities and areas along that 20 mile corridor. So it's very important for people to come and give us their feedback. And when are these public meetings? Being so held? we have two public meetings that are scheduled. The in-person meetings will be held in an open house format, no formal presentation will be given. Each meeting will contain the same content. So the first one we're looking at is tomorrow, May 1st from 5 to 7 at Clint High School. That's out on Alameda in Clint. And then Thursday, May 2nd, again from 5 to 7, we'll be out at Western Tech on the second floor. That's out on Plaza Circle. We will have Spanish speaking team members that will be available at the open house. Um, for those people that can't join us, there's also a virtual option. Okay, so even if they can't attend in person, are they still able to give feedback? Yes, absolutely. So, um, you know, the virtual meeting will consist of the pre-recorded video presentation. It's the same information. It's just that there won't be any staff present so that they can uh, ask questions. Now the presentation will be posted online by 5 p.m. tomorrow. To access a virtual public meeting, people can go to text.gov keyword search Border Highway East study. That virtual public meeting will remain available uh, for two weeks. Oh. So all comments are due by Wednesday, May 16th. People can go online, view the same information that they would have seen at the public meeting. Okay, um, and provide their comments. Again, it's very important for people to provide their feedback because everyone um, uses the roads differently um, and it's very important to provide the feedback at this planning phase. Yeah. And we'll also have that information on our website, kfoxtv.com. Just click on this story. And thank you, Lauren, for joining us this Tuesday. We'll see you next week. Yes, and we hope to see everyone at our public meetings. Yeah, and we'll be back with more news, weather, and traffic.